How's it hanging, folks? It is Andrew here from IDB looking at how to force quit apps on iOS 11. So we're going to start off here on my iPhone and as usual, just double click to go into the app switcher and then just swipe up on the app. That's going to go ahead and force quit any troublesome application that may need just restarted if something is kind of not working quite right. And you are correct to assume that that has not changed here on the iPhone since iOS 10 or even before that. It's absolutely the same. But however, on the iPad, things have changed a little bit. So you can get into your app switcher by four fingers up or double clicking the home button. That's the same as it was in the past, but you can't really swipe them up any longer. I mean, we're in this grid layout here. So how do you do it? Well, you're gonna go into the app switcher, hold onto any of those things, kind of like you would hold onto the icons on your home screen. And you can just tap on that little X that'll appear in the corner. That'll easily allow you to kill any application that, again, is being unresponsive, troublesome, or just really maybe you're worried it's eating your memory and you just want to kind of kill it and not have it run in the background. Now, I'm definitely one of those people. I leave all of my apps running. I have seen zero memory benefits from closing running apps. It's definitely a myth that closing those will help your device. However, it is really helpful if something's not working. Tapped out or the app store won't load correctly. Simply hold on to it, tap on that little X in that top left hand corner of each of those little application screenshots and you'll force kill the app, reloading it the next time you open it. So let us know what you think down below in the comments if this works for you or if you don't like this new interface. Click the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Till next time, it is Andrew for IDB.